so what I wanted to do is show everybody my basic setup for right now. Um, here I've got a power supply for my first tank. It's a computer power supply converted to run the E-Tank. Next is my little experiment I got was a waterbed heater that I have. Stuck underneath my lie tank with a piece of wood underneath so it makes sure that it's touching the bottom all the way across. We'll see if this keeps it warm enough when it's supposed to hit freezing tonight. Here's a tank I've got vinegar and water mix. And there is my 40 gallon tank. Right now I've got three skillets in it. As you can tell, it's got a lot of buildup on top right now because it's been used for a couple of months so far. I'm probably going to dump it soon and then take in. Uh, Go ahead and redo the sides i've got a different way i'm attaching the metal now um, i'm bolting all the way through and then connecting on the outside with um, the power so i don't have to run different cables to it and here's one of my 55 gallons i've got four going in this one right now mostly the small pans go in this one if you look on the side you can see i've got a bolt going through connect it to the metal on the inside and then I run it on the outside to connect the two together because I have one power supply running both of these tanks and this is the thousand watt power supply converted for this one because I wanted more power for both of them and this is my newest tank if you look I've got three going in it right now and it is churning and it's been like this for the last couple of days when I started these pans so they should be pretty good soon but it's also another 55 gallon tank so and like I said there's that and here's where I keep all the stuff I need to do I've got some newer stuff I picked up last night uh, the Dutch oven the tortilla press a couple BSRs a couple Wagner pans um, and these should last me through next week maybe so y'all have a good one bye